Okay, still in Article 220, Branch Circuit Feeder Service Load Calculations. Um, this has the potential of being easily the biggest change in the entire codebook. Uh, and, and indeed, maybe the biggest change in the last 10 years. This, this is a paradigm shift. You know, and I, I hate to use that phrase, paradigm shift. You know, a paradigm shift is a change to the fundamental way of doing something, the whole approach. How we do load calculations uh, might completely change based on this single item. And I think it's a good thing. We need to embrace technology. 220.70 Energy Management Systems. If this isn't the way of the future, it's the way of the present. <laughs> you know what I mean? There is no question this will be the way of the future if it's not already. New allowances for energy management systems were added. All right, listen. Um, switchboards and switchgear are not the same thing that they were 50 years ago. I mean, it, look, this is, uh, this is a picture that I took at the Eaton Experience Center in Pittsburgh, in uh, Pennsylvania. I think it was Pittsburgh, um, but in, in Pennsylvania. And when you go through there, it is mind-blowing at the technical advances that we're seeing in the world of electrical distribution systems. I mean, you, you have a full-blown computer as part of your switchboard now. And you can get that with switchboards and switch gear. And listen, I'm telling you, tomorrow you'll be able to get it in panel boards. And there's already small energy management systems that you can drop into the panel board, you know. I, I'm giving lots of props to Eaton here, but there's a product that Square D puts out called the Square D Wiser, W-I-S-E-R. Check that thing out. It's pretty cool. Um, you have the Leviton Smart Breakers. Eaton is doing smart breakers now where you put in the, the breaker and the breaker knows exactly what's going on. Um, look, there, there's no reason to keep on doing what we've been doing for the last 100 years here in 2023 when, the, when technology has gone to, to places that we never thought imaginable. So take a look here. If an energy management system is used, its settings can be used for the feeder or service if it complies with 750.30. Now what the code actually says is if a service or feed, or I'm sorry, if an energy management system is used to limit the current on a feeder, then the maximum set point of the energy management system can be used for the load calculation. Forget Article 220. <laughs> Just say, listen, I've got an energy management system. I'm going to walk over here, right, program this thing in, and I'm going to say, listen, panel, you get 200 amps. That's the load calculation. You're done. All right, because I mean seriously, what's what's a more accurate way of handling the load? Doing a calculator and a pen and pencil and saying, oh, three volt amps per square foot or 1.5 or whatever the code making panel decided on that day, right? And 125% of the biggest motor plus 100% of the other ones and a 75% demander if you, forget all that. Just put in an energy management system and say, listen, this panel gets 200 amps, that's it, all right? So, you're going to take the maximum set point at 125%, size your conductors, right, provide the overcurrent protection, of course, so have to use breakers and fuses, and that's the load calculation. I mean, listen, eventually, we're, we're going to be at a point where Article 220 might just be gone, you know, and we just say, listen, we're, we're just going to use software and let the software do it for us, right? Let the design professional design the system put in an energy management system that limits the load, put in overcurrent protection, size the conductors properly, and we're done. So 220.70, this is a big, big deal. And look, I don't say this phrase lightly. This, in my opinion, this is going to change the entire electrical industry as far as the NEC is concerned. Energy management systems, like I said, you, you can get them that are big in, in a switchboard or switch gear like we showed. And by the way, in, in this video series, I'm going to show a lot of different energy management systems. Uh, but that's the big one that, that Eaton has in their switchboard. And they've got all sorts of different solutions, just like Schneider does, just like Siemens does, just like ABB does, you know, that used to be uh, uh, GE. Um, there's different energy management systems. Leviton, this is a smaller one here that was at a uh, at an electrical contractor in, in kind of in my backyard that I that was able to take a tour of. Um, I've done data centers where they have massive energy management systems. And again, uh, they have energy management systems you can drop into your house if you want. Now, you're probably not going to be able to quite take advantage of this section for a house as of, you know, May of 2023. But listen, by, by this time next year or two years from now, who knows? Uh, look, I'm not exaggerating. 
this is going to change the industry. This, in my opinion, this is the future of electrical building wiring. Um, in a previous video, I think I, I showed kind of a preview of what the 2029 NEC is probably going to look like. And right now, while we're still on the drawing board, energy management systems are going to be in chapter one, right? You're going to have like general requirements, load calculations, energy management systems. That's chapter one. This is not specialized equipment anymore. This is not something unique. This is something that we're, it's going to be in your backyard whether you like it or not. So be prepared for it and quite frankly, embrace it. Embrace the technology or it's going to leave you behind. Okay, you can't just keep on doing the same thing you've been doing for the last 30 years and, and stay relevant. It's, it, we're in a, we're in a, look, we're in the technology industry. You got to keep up on this stuff. So there you go, 220.70. We're going to talk more about it as you you might imagine when we get to article 750 which covers energy management systems so we'll see you then on to the next video which is article 230 services